wait till we're about to show you right here. This is insane. I've never seen anything like this. everybody from Disney Springs. We are here today to do some after Christmas shopping. It's been a little while since we've been to Disney Springs, so we want to check out World of Disney, see if there's any new 50th anniversary merchandise, what holiday merchandise is still left, and I think we're going to get a bite to eat as well because I am starving. Yeah, and today is New Year's Eve, so we're going to check out and see what the crowd level is like here at Disney Springs. I'm thinking it's going to be a, a pretty busy day, but yeah. we'll have you guys come along and we'll show you what it's like here at Disney Springs on New Year's Eve. So we just stepped out of the orange garage and the crowds don't look too bad right now. It's pretty empty over here. So we'll see as we get a little bit deeper into Disney Springs if that's still the case. And some of the Christmas decorations are still up. So we'll show you guys some of the trees that are part of the Christmas tree stroll. So before we do any shopping, our first stop is gonna be over here at City Works. We heard they have a really good brunch. So let's go in and check it out. So like we said, we came over to City Works and we're gonna get some brunch slash lunch. And here's a quick look at the menu. All the items here are like puns, play on words, of classic rock songs, which is pretty cool. So we just ordered our food and they gave us my favorite, the agave straws. I hate the paper straws because they like start to disintegrate. These are like plastic straws, but better for the environment. So, good job, City Works. All right, so we got our appetizer. We got the fried pickles, and these look just absolutely incredible. I've never seen fried pickles that look like this. It comes with a ranch dipping sauce as well. It looks really, really good. And sorry, I'm screaming. <laughs> There's live music right behind us, but let's dig in. I'm thoroughly enjoying these. I think what's different about these is that it has like a thicker batter um, on the outside which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but they're really good. And I think the ranch dipping sauce that comes with it really adds to it as well. I mean, now that we're gonna be moving down here, I feel like we have to do like the fried pickle like challenge to see which has the best fried pickles. Um, but these are pretty good. I don't know if I like love how thick the batter is on the outside. I think it's good, it makes it extra crispy. But sometimes like I like more of the pickle flavor than like the breading. But these are really a good option. I would definitely get them again. All right, so we just got our food. Alex got the City Works burger with fries. That looks really good. And then I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get my entire meal in the frame here. Look at the size of this breakfast flatbread. Holy cow. This is called the easy like Sunday morning. It's got eggs, bacon, sausage, cheese. This thing is absolutely massive. So, so far my burger is pretty good. Um, I added avocado to it, so I think that helps because avocado makes everything better. But um, but it's good. I wouldn't say it's like the best burger I've ever had. You can tell that the, the meat is like fresh, like a better quality than like, I don't know, say like a quick service burger. So. I definitely appreciate that too. And the fries are really good, but the salt that's on it, I don't know if you guys could see that. Like, they're a little too salty, but um, but they're crispy and I, I've been enjoying them. So, good so far. Yeah, so my flatbread is really, really good too. We've heard really good things about the brunch here at City Works. I know Alex got something off the regular menu, but I wanted to try something off of the brunch menu to see how the brunch is, and I'm really surprised. This is a very good breakfast flatbread. It's definitely big, so if you're coming and you want to share it, definitely something you can share, but so far so good here at City Works. Like I said, we heard really, really good things. Our friends recommended this place to us. It's our first time here, and I'll definitely be back for uh, brunch because if this is an indication on how the brunch menu is, I want to try everything else too, so two thumbs up, very good. So we are making our way over towards World of Disney, but first I want to stop over at Marvel Superhero Headquarters and see if there's any merchandise out for Spider-Man No Way Home. It's looking like it is pretty slim pickings over here. They have a Spider-Man hoodie, and they also have this Magic Man, which is pretty cool. It's a limited edition of 4,000, and that is Spider-Man No Way Home Magic Man there. There's a couple other items, like Spider-Man masks for little kids. There's a couple other t-shirts down here as well. We'll see what else they have. I'm not seeing a whole lot. They have a few more shirts over here. This Ringer t-shirt is actually pretty cool. And then they have this hat over here that says, Be Amazing, with another Spider-Man shirt, but nothing really specific to the new movie. Looks like they have a toy down here that is 
for the movie, but that is, that's pretty much it. Just a couple of shirts, a hat, and just generic Spider-Man items. And like we were saying earlier, the Christmas trees from the Christmas tree stroll are still out on display. Here's one of them right now. This is the Toy Story tree. And you can see if we move a little bit closer, you got some elements of Toy Story right there. You got the alien ornament, all the different toy rings. You got Buzz's rocket right there that they put on his back. Pretty cool. So we just finished our brunch over at CityWorks. We are about to head over to World of Disney. We put our name on the list for Gideon's, but it's like a two hour and 10 minute wait right now. I don't know if we're gonna be here for another two yeah, hours. We'll see. But I do want some cookies. I know, I'm like dreaming about the cookies and the peanut butter iced coffee, so we'll see. We'll see. All right, so we made it inside World of Disney. We're gonna walk around and check out what is new, if anything. So right when we first walk in, they have the brand new iridescent collection. You can see the spirit jersey, and then Alex found the tumbler, which, if you remember, on October 1st, I know it was a different color, but this was the tumbler that everybody was literally fighting over. Literally fist fights over Fist this. fights in the Emporium, which was out of control. But yeah, $50 for this tumbler, which is... It's nice that it has like the logo on it though. I, mean, I didn't realize that. Yeah, you pay a dollar for every year of Walt Disney World. <laughs> 50 years, $50. $50 for the cup. We found them <laughs> and there's plenty of them. So no need to have a fist fight here at World of Disney. Wow, and this is the cup. Just th almost three months ago now, people were throwing punches over this cup, and look which how many is they have. absolutely embarrassing. But now there is a whole restock here at the Emporium. This is crazy. This is why you don't give cast members a hard time and you don't fight with each other over merchandise because a lot of times it restock. And here's a look at the iridescent ears as well. These are really nice. I like that the colors change and you have hints of like blue and purple. Really pretty. Now I don't know how new this is. I can't remember if they had this out for October 1st or not, but we saw a lot of people walking around Disney Springs with huge bags. And inside, this is what they had. It was this 50th anniversary castle playset, and it's pretty cool. It comes with all little minifigures, the Fab Five, and it also comes with a Dumbo ride vehicle. This is actually pretty amazing. They also have the new iridescent spear jersey here. Here's the back. And I can imagine that this one is a lot of money because of all the sequins. And I'll show you guys the front. It has the 50th right there on the chest. The price is on here for once and it's $120. So we came over by the Marvel section in World of Disney and I know Christmas is over, but check out these little mini backpacks over here with Groot on them with all the Christmas lights. That is really cute. And then down here, they have a holiday sweater with Groot. It says Season's Greetings. We also found this really, really nice Star Wars button-up short sleeve shirt over here. You can see it's got them jumping into hyperspace on there. It's got all these Star Wars movies on the chest. And I have a feeling this is gonna be pretty popular because recently Dave Portnoy from Barstool Sports was at Disney World and he was wearing this in his trip to Hollywood Studios. And I said, wow, that's a really cool button up. So I'm sure I'm not gonna be the only one. So World of Disney had some new items, but nothing that we really wanted, nothing that really caught our eye. So we're gonna head into Marketplace Co-op and see what's new over here. One of my favorite things about Marketplace Co-op is you can find some really cool pieces of artwork like these here from probably my favorite artist, Dave Perillo. He does some really awesome Disney inspired art. He does a lot of pop culture, but you can see he's got a unique style. Like check out this Country Bear Jamboree poster. That is amazing. He's even got some old school ones like Kitchen Cabaret, really cool. And then Big Thunder Mountain here as well. Big fan of Dave Perillo's work. So we also found um, the 50th Lounge Fly and I believe this is part of like this gold collection, I forget what it's called, but it's $298. <laughs> wow. That's insane. I think that might be the most expensive lounge fly backpack I've ever seen. And it's heavy. Is it? It's really heavy because I think it's expensive because this is metal here and then this here adds to the weight of it, but yeah, that's very expensive. And if you thought that backpack was expensive, wait till we're about to show you right here. This is insane. I've never seen anything like this. So just when you thought that backpack was expensive, they have a pair of jeweled ears for just a cool thousand dollars. Holy moly. First of all, who's wearing this? <laughs> that's 
That's what I want to know. And who has that kind of money to spend on ears? That's crazy. And then on top of that, they have a jeweled headband for seven fifty. Holy cow. So about an hour and 20 minutes later, we got our text from Gideon's. We are making our way over there now, and it's cookie time. We just got in line for Gideon's. It's actually a really short wait, and we are gonna take a look at the menu. We got one of these cards over here. They said this is the last day for the December offerings, which makes sense, today's December 31st. And here is what they have. This is my face when I realize in just a few hours it's gonna be 2022 already. We got the goods. We got the peanut butter cold brew. We got our bag of cookies. And we already had a couple sips of the cold brew and just as good as ever. It's unreal how good it is. It's <laughs> so good. It's so peanut buttery. And my favorite part about it is that all their iced coffees are vegan and made with oat milk so it doesn't bother my stomach. But oh my god, just the flavor is so delicious. So the Krampus cookie they put in a separate box because it has like a mint flavor to it and that flavor kind of latches onto the other cookies. So we got that one separate and then Alex has the uh, peanut butter and the chocolate chip in there and along with a couple cookies that we're going to be bringing back to some friends. It's time for the big reveal. This is the Krampus cookie. You can see there's a ton of chocolate chips on it and you can also see where the mints are as well. Those little green spots, that's where it's gonna be that cooling mint. It has the sea salts. I always can taste the sea salts. I don't know if you guys can tell, like there's chunks of sea salt. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. This one's good. I definitely think it's a good option, like a seasonal offering, but I think my favorite is still like either the original chocolate chip or the peanut butter. But this is a nice like option for something different. So overall verdict on the Gideon's cookies, peanut butter, good as always. The Krampus cookie was very, very good, but I don't know if I would get it again. I might get it around the holidays, that's why it's a seasonal cookie. But it was good, but I think you definitely come here for the uh, peanut butter cookie and that peanut butter coffee as well, both excellent. And since tonight is New Year's Eve, they are going to have a couple of DJs starting at 6 p.m celebrating New Year's Eve throughout Disney Springs, there were signs that said there were no fireworks tonight, but we did see these stages pop up throughout Disney Springs. So there's gonna be pop-up dance parties in many different places. All right, so that is gonna do it for our day here at Disney Springs. A fun time as always. We did a little shopping, we had some food, but most importantly, we got those Gideon's cookies. Yeah, I love Gideon's and I'm so glad that we came. Disney Springs is always one of our favorite things to do. It's a nice little break from the parks. Yeah. Today was busy because it was New Year's Eve, but I'm still glad that we came. Yeah, so if you guys enjoyed coming along with us for kind of the first half of our New Year's, mm -hmm. be on the lookout for part two of today. We are going to Epcot in a little bit. We are gonna brave the crowds and the madness and we're gonna have some fun uh, New Year's style over at Epcot, our first time being in a park for like a major holiday. Yeah. So that's gonna be pretty cool. So if you guys enjoyed coming along with us, make sure you give the video a nice big thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss our Epcot video and all other videos to come. And with that being said, we'll see you guys real soon.